So we got a call for a Jeep that is stuck on the Rattlesnake Trail. He's high centered, kind of turtled out. We're gonna go up here and see if we can get him back on all four wheels and on his way. And yes, I still got this thing on my eye. I think it's a sty. Still don't know exactly what that is, but I do get them from time to time when I don't get enough sleep and that sort of thing. We got Caitlin here with the weather. It's about 69 degrees. Very nice weather and no clouds. Oh yeah, it's Colby. I'm in for a bumpy <laughs> ride. We'll get him out. So the pin that this gentleman sent puts him in pretty much the furthest possible way. So if he was any further down river, we would have gone in through the gun range. I'm guessing that this is the fastest way in. We're gonna go in through the midpoint and go downstream to find him. We're about to do some rock crawling. I like the sound of that. People drive really hard trails and then they're like, oh, that's too hard. So they pull rocks out of the way, and cut down trees and then make the trail easier. And those of us that enjoyed the difficulty are now kind of robbed of another hard, fun trail. We're still in two wheel drive, We're playing the two wheel drive game. We currently have the high score. We're gonna get see the spot where George sunk his Jeep. Did he like flood it? Yeah, I ruined it. Right there. How deep is it? Uh, pretty deep. When you've got a narrow spot here and, and hard rock cliff, there's a chance it's quite dug out. on the hippopotamus that's where I got stuck that story I was telling you yes and when I took when I saw the picture I'm like well that looks like he's stuck was were you around when I said that I don't looks like so. he's stuck on the hippopotamus rock good afternoon it is, a, it is a good afternoon now that you're here hey there is a lot less pretty places to get stuck I've been stuck on this rock it's stupid because if I had walked ahead or had a spotter or even had a winch, I wouldn't be stuck. Yeah. Yeah, when I got stuck on it, I was going this way. I'd hooked my transmission cross member over the edge of that yeah, rock. I'm sitting on the rock slider, so I don't think it... Okay, I think, yeah, I think it'll just slide Top forward. forward. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. Okay, Caitlin. Jump in that thing and drive it down here. So the reason I call this a hippopotamus rock is if you ever seen the hippopotamuses when they're in like a pool of water and just the, the little bit of their backs are up, I just kind of imagine this is the back of a hippopotamus just sticking out of the water. Oh, and, this is and, the hippopotamus, not this? Yeah, this is. Uh, that looks more like the machine that the, uh, what are the, what are the Star Wars? That Jawas? Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Jawas drive. Look at yeah. that. That is a Jawa Sam machine. Okay, this won't really be a kinetic pull. It's just gonna be a flat, gentle pull. That did it. Yeah. 
find another vehicle. Yeah. And a match recovery rope. Well, it's time to get a win, man. I've ordered one. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is why I did this, just for the shirt. I was going to come by your shop and buy some merchandise, <laughs> but this seems easier. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. My very own. <laughs> your very own shirt. All right, so we're just going to head out here to the gun range. He's going to follow us out. This is his first time on the trail. He's never been on this section. We'll just make sure he makes it. I don't think he's going to have a problem with this part. All right, we were able to get the gentleman off from Hippopotamus Rock up to the gun range and on his way. That was pretty awesome. That was awesome. That was like one of the first recoveries that I've really been on off-road, so. And it's the first one you really helped on. Like, yeah, helped I was on. actually hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> She's improving. So we got a call for a Kodiak with a Samurai on the back of it that is broke down north of Tonopah, way out in the Nevada desert. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can get them. The weekend is almost over. It is no time to be working, but we did get a volunteer for today's activities. I'm happy to be here. I'll volunteer anytime. What, what's the weather? What's going on out well, there? Well, it was about 50 degrees where we left. I think it's about 38 where we are here, just outside of Cedar, and it's gonna be colder out in the middle of Nevada desert. <laughs> we got a little bit of a stiff north wind that's kind of blowing straight through you, but we're gonna head out there and see if we can get them out. So we're gonna be just driving right by Area 51. So we were in Roswell a couple weeks ago, so that was kind of weird. So maybe this trip will be kind of weird too. So we got to look for deer and ETs. So why in the world on a Sunday evening would I jump off on this probably 14 hour round trip just to go get a Kodiak when we're an off-road recovery team? Well, I'll tell you. So the customer is actually Nate with Dirt Lifestyle. He has the Kodiak crawler hauler, with his samurai on the back. They need to be at SEMA in like a couple days. So I know that I would not like to be stranded out in the middle of Nevada. I actually have before. That's a different story. It's no fun to be stranded and be like 12 hours away from your like normal friend group that can come rescue you. So when I heard he was out here, I decided let's go do this. Yeah, we're gonna go help Nate out and have an adventure on the way. The drive's gonna be boring, but I don't wanna hit like a, a donkey or a deer, so. No. So you just tone that adventure down just a little bit. All right, this is gonna be very routine. <laughs> All right, just a real quick note to let you know, we got two more hours of driving before we get to Nate. That's all. Well, I'm just watching for deer, donkeys, horses, and any adventures. We're in downtown Tonopah. Actually, we're kind of on the outskirts of it now. We're grabbing some fuel before we head up the road. We're about 60 miles from Nate and his crawler hauler. It's my first time ever getting gas. So we're just gonna fuel up and I think I'm gonna go get myself a flame broiled Whopper. They make them at Burger King, they're so good. I'm not sure this place is even open. Greg says he doesn't even want a Whopper. So I'm on my own. Oh, there's someone in there. Let's go get one. Exit only. That door was an exit only. So double Whopper and a large drink. Just a sandwich with a drink? Yep. Did you want cheese on that? No. You want cheese on it? Hello. And I brought this trailer that we don't have ramps for because none of our rigs need ramps, but the Kodiak's gonna need ramps. Greg had some ramps from his trailer. I haven't even checked to see if they work. <laughs> and the winch on the blue steel is obviously pointed the wrong direction. So we got a couple things going against us, but in true Matt's off-road recovery fashion, we're gonna get this on, out. All right, we made it here. It only took us six and a half hours or seven. It is exactly midnight 03 right now. So that took a while, it took like seven. 
I'll just bridle this. I cannot thank you enough for coming out here, man. Seriously. <laughs> this is one of those things where I'm like looking at the map and I'm like, sure, I'll come get you. <laughs> yeah. and then I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I just want to get here where I'm pulling fairly straight so we don't slip off the end of that. Which that's where I want to be. Two more feet. There you go. Stop. All right. So, okay, when I see you reverse right, I'll okay. know to just ease on. Yeah. Hold up! Sweet. I'm trying to think, man, if this will just drive on. I bet, it, I bet it'll drive on. Okay. If we're nice and easy on it, I think it'll a, drive on. It, all right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm worried about those racks sliding over. Man, this is huge that this thing is running. Keep coming. Keep coming this way. Yep. Keep coming this way. How straight now? Let me see here. Um, that's not taller than a semi. I think we're good. Nice and tight. All right, we are headed that way. I'm not even sure where we're going. I'll let you know as soon as we find out, but we know that we've got like six to nine hours. Six to nine months. 69 months? No, six to nine months. We'll see you when we know something more than we know now. All right, it's 3 a.m. We're stopping to get some more fuel. She's drinking it down now that we're loaded. You should see this load, look at this. All right. All right, we got in a couple hours ago. I didn't think to film anything, plus it was still dark. It took us 24 hours, but we do have a plan. We're gonna send Jake down with his load. He's gonna kick this off somewhere on the side of the highway. Nate's gonna drive around the front wheel drive. I think you found an axle. He says he did, hopefully. This has been an incredible journey. Thanks for watching.